What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to return JSON for your app with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at returning JSON. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books. One time fee is just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at returning JSON. So I just have a very basic thing here, re returning the date. It says date on this side and here. Uh, you can return JSON for lots of different reasons. Maybe you want to create an API, whatever. Uh, this is going to be a very quick video because this is actually really easy. Some people were asking me the other day about this. So I thought I'd shoot out a quick video, sort of take a step back from our Flasker blog stuff that we've been working on and just show you how to do this really quick. It's kind of fun. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to all the other Flask Friday videos. Flask Friday, woo! <laughs> the best day of the week, Flask Friday. Uh, check those out if you haven't seen them so far. So we've got our Flask app here we've been working on, hello.py. So let's come down here and let's just create, you know, a JSON thing, <laughs> whatever. So let's create a web page that will return some JSON. So let's go at app.route, create a route, and let's call this date. We want to return the date, right? Just a simple thing. So let's create uh, a function. Let's say uh, return, or let's say get current underscore date, right? So we need to be able to access the system's date stuff. So let's come up here and import that real quick, just from Python. We want to go from date time. Let's import date, I think should be fine. All right, so now we can use that. So let's come down here in the side of this function. All we want to do here is return some JSON. So how do we do that? Well, back in the day with Flask, you had to use something called JSONify. You don't actually have to do that anymore. If you return a dictionary, just a Python dictionary, Flask will JSONify it for you. It will turn it into JSON. So that's really cool. So we could just return any Python dictionary. Like this will return JSON. So let's create a key called date and a value of, uh, let's go date.today. That's a function. We're calling this from this thing up here we just imported. All right, this will return today's date. And that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, if we head back over here, to this page, it will JSON, it will return JSON with this dictionary, only it will have JSONified it. So let's head over to our terminal, make sure you're in your C Flasker directory, make sure your virtual environment here is turned on. And let's just go Flask run, run the server. So now we can head back over to the website. And instead of just localhost colon 5000, we can navigate to date. And when we do, it returns this JSON. And here it says the date, and then it's returning the actual date. And this is generated automatically with the date function from date time that we imported. And that's all there is to it. So really cool, really easy way to start to build out an API using JSON. And we can do anything we want with this. So like if we came back over here, and instead of doing that, let's create a favorite underscore pizza and set that equal to Python dictionary. And we can say, John likes pepperoni and, and Mary likes cheese. And let's say Tim likes mushroom, whatever. If, and now we could just return this dictionary instead of this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and comment this out so it's still there so you can reference it if you want but we could just return favorite pizza. So now if we save this, head back over here and hit reload, boom, now it says pepperoni, cheese, and mushroom, John, Mary, and Tim. And we've got a little JSON file. Now, obviously you would probably return more complicated JSON stuff than this, but any dictionary you can create, it will JSONify it and slap it up and return it using JSON. So basically this is kind of like an API now, you know, you could call this from some other website. Well, if this was online, it's not actually online. We're running this on localhost right now, but you get the idea. Quick and easy way to make an API. 
and uh, really kind of cool. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 taxes, all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.